Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today we've got a couple of unboxings because yesterday was a weird holiday and mail didn't run because, I don't know. Anyway, these are a couple of things I ordered from my buddies over at White Mountain Knives. And again, if you guys shop at White Mountain Knives, I've got a coat over there now. No big deal, but it's Javon 10, J-U-H-V-O-N 10, gets you 10% off your order. And I ordered these at different times, and I'm not sure which is which, so we're just going to, I think we'll open them both, and then we will get into the boxes. So the unboxing knife today is going to be the Civivi Baby Banter, just because it's here. And I was too lazy to reach in my pocket. So we've got that, and and guys, both of these are interesting to say the least. Nice, and that. All right. So what we have here, guys or what I would classify as impulse buys and I'll explain to you why as we look at each of these. So the first one is a unique piece by Petrified Fish. I've never seen a box like this. We'll get into it in a second. And another one is kind of a familiar Tusa. So Let's check out this petrified fish. And guys, this is odd. Kind of interesting packaging. I'll give it that. It's going to be an interesting knife, I can tell you that. All right. So I got a little chamois cloth, a little petrified fish sticker, a little micro pack of troll candy. Two long screws, a really nice little pouch, and this funky thing. Guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I'll tell you what I was thinking. In all truce, I wanted to see if my code would work. I ordered this first. So I went back to White Mountain Knives and I was browsing around and I saw this odd little knife and it wasn't all that expensive. And I said, well, I'll buy it and I'll try my code. And sure enough, it worked. But guys, this is, I don't know what to expect when I open it, but it is marketed as a petrified fish front flipper money clip. Say that real fast. Petrified fish, front flipper, money clip. So, in theory, I'm going to slide my cash in there and put it in my pocket. Anyway, Petrified fish, for some reason, after I ordered it, I thought it was Boker. Let's see which way it flips. Okay, so that makes me smile in a big way because I'm a weirdo. So I can't get the front flip on it. The over, yeah, I can. The over the top, let's see. Kind of hard to grab that clip. Maybe the over the top's the way to go. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a double detent, but it's not. It's a locking knife. And guys, what this is, this is a little money clip. I'll probably use it as a pocket clip. But it has got this weird, weird ass little rat fink blade. I don't know what you'd call that. It's chiseled on both sides. Let me get a coupon.
so it's blunt up here, sharp on the front and sharp on the side. So it looks like it'll be a very good package opener. Whoops, I tried to use the dull side. And then it's got a little liner lock here. And it looks like this clip removes with a couple of T6s. Ball shutty. See if there's a place I need to put my finger to get that front flip to be on point where I feel like I've got control of the knife because it's easy to go over the top. But it feels like it would be more optimal. But I can't get the traction that I need on it with one hand. I'll have to play with that. But anyway, this is the Petrified Fish E O O G A S Satin 14C 28N Blade Gray Titanium Handle. So what they mean by that is all of these were titanium, but the money clip you could get in blue, you could get it in purple. I just wanted it understated, so I got it in uh, the gray just to make it kind of mesh up because this is a novelty knife for me just to see what it is. I figured I'd bring it into the channel. We'd check it out. We'd hang out with it. Um, I can already tell you I like this little knife. Um, I look forward to spending some time with it and giving you guys my thoughts on how it walks and if it stays centered, if it is something that I use. Do I use it as a money clip and just drop it in my pocket? Yet has all that been seen. But what we will do is we will take our petrified fish little bag, put it back in our little petrified fish box in case this makes it to the giveaway table once. But I like it. I think it's a cool little knife. I think it's a handy little blade. That corner super, super sharp. I could easily cut into that box. And it's got a little liner lock. It's locked up right about 40%. And guys, the chamfering for that lock bar, the cutout for the lock bar tension is on the inside. So you've got a smooth surface here. If you use this as a, paper, a pocket clip or a money clip, Looks like it's riding on bearings. Um, it's got really good tang geometry, it looks like. I mean, there's absolutely no side to side, no up and down. For a little knife, I'm kind of digging it. I'll just tell you, once I can find out where I need to consistently grab it from behind. I don't want to cut myself. But anyway, there we go. That is the Petrified Fish little tiny money clip. I think those are still in stock. I'll link those or where they were in the description. Now this guy, I'm hoping is going to be, this is a double detent. The reason I got this knife, and I actually got it, few days before that is oh yeah this is the same knife got to get it broken in for a sec get the oil off of it might help tight. I don't want to loosen that pivot if I don't have to, so I'm going to give it a second, see if I can get it to break. Can y'all see how patient I am? I love that blade shape.
All right, that's tweaked down there pretty hard. And that side's not. Okay. That's probably a little too much. We got some serious suggestions to do here, guys. I don't know what is happening in my my P volt. Get this cruddy lock tied off there. I think that Loctite on the other side is kind of binding it up, which I might have to take the whole thing apart. Maybe not. Not the end of the world if I do. Let's see here. some reason all right guys we're gonna go for it and I'm gonna go for it in a non-traditional Maybe it just needs oil. This is S90V, by the way, guys. And this is the same knife, just a different blade style, as this guy right here. This little fidgety devil. So these guys, as you can tell, are the same, just a different pattern. So I really wanted to add this, but I want it. That screw out. That screw out. Look at those tiny, tiny, tiny little bearings. They're tight, tight, tight. There's a D shaped pivot. Is it in there right? Let's see. D shaped pivot. I don't think our D-shaped pivot was in there right. I think our D-shaped pivot goes that way. And I don't think it was installed correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little dab of Gunny Glide. Tiniest little dab there. I 
let's do this. Clean some of the smuts out of this, this S90V blade. Got a little washer inside there. All right, I think what we're going to have to do to make this go a little easier will be to pin this in place. Nice screws. Nice deep Chicago screws. Let's see. Oh, you magnetic biatch. All right, let's tighten that down, but not too tweaky. Let's just marvel at the shape of that little knife, guys. And it is slicey. Once we get it to my liking, I will show you how that S90V cuts. Oh yeah. That's what it was, that D-shaped pivot wasn't. When I get the oil off this front flipper, I have a feeling I'll be able to pull it like I can. Well, that one does come back a little further. So this might be a traditional front flipper. Or, just a slip joint. But while we've got it out, let's grab some papilla. S90V carbon fiber guys. These little double detents, both of them. Um, again, I saw the Warncliffe first, and then when I was going back through, I saw this one. It, they were 80. I want to say $80, right around $80 for carbon fiber and S90V. As you guys know, I've kind of gone down a little bit of a slip joint rabbit hole. So for me, it made perfect sense. Um, so yeah, I guess this one's got a lanyard hole. That's odd. But this one's more of a clip point. It's still slippery, guys. But 
but this will be a fun little knife. I'm stoked. It's super light. I'll carry it for a while like I will this one. And then I'll bring you reviews on both of them. Like I said, they seemed like a designer type pair. Um, they both got the same maker's mark. They're both S90V. They're both right about the same size. Um, and I really dig them. I'm, uh, they came very sharp. Uh, this one did come with the pivot not installed correctly, but you guys saw we were able to remedy that with very little to no issue. I'm getting the flip now. Once it gets a little more broken in, I'm sure I'll be able to, when it dries off, just get that reach around like nobody's business. But I'll spend some time flipping it. Guys, today we got the Tucson TS241. And we got the Petrified Fish two that I'll probably cut myself with. The Petrified Fish EO9GAS Satin 14C28M blade, gray titanium handle. So I guess it's the PE. PF EO9 GAS for this little guy. Both of them at White Mountain Knives. Uh, again, I do a lot of my shopping at White Mountain Knives, always have because I get free shipping if I don't pay for the $4.99 priority, which I usually do because I'm OCD that way. I don't get charged tax. And up until I started using my Javon 10 code, I always use Lefty's code. Or tri-states code so i always enjoyed my 10 percent off and guys i hope when you guys use javon 10 you enjoy your 10 percent off i don't get anything out of that but i don't want anything out of that except to have you guys benefit from the code get you a little bit of cheese off of the knife and show justin that people pay attention to my videos and use the code it's helpful for me i know it's helpful for justin at white mountain look at that guys finally getting my bearings oh shit but anyway i'll work on that and when i do the full review i'll be a flipping machine guys thank you thank you thank you for watching my video i know unboxings can be a bore i thought these were kind of neat so i did want to bring them to you again full unboxings coming down or full overviews coming down the road please if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon they both really help me out thank you to all my channel members, you guys really help me out. You stoke me every time I look and see that I have channel members. It blows me away. Guys, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal for your right. Please go forward with love in your heart. Please look out for each other. And please choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.